What's up guys, Josno right here. In today's video I'm going to show you how to modify the Yalu jailbreak in order to enable SSH over Wi-Fi. This was disabled by Look at the Desco by default and um, with a good reason, but we need to enable it in some cases. For example, if you want to I don't know, access the files on the device or put something in the device, for example, nonce enabler for future restore downgrade. So it has a practical use. But you need to keep in mind some things. It's not safe to do this if you want to do this and let the device this way. Or if you do it, at least change the password of the root. So uh, let's begin. At first I'm going to use the Yalu Dark, which is my fork of the Yalu project. You can find Yalu Dark on my GitHub in here, the IPA in this folder and the project, the source code in here. But you can also use the official Yalu from yalu.quertywoodyup.com, which is the uh, official build. It's the same thing on both of them. So um, yeah, as you can see in the beta, in the beta 4, drop beer, which is the client for uh, SSH on yeah, uh, Yalu jailbreak has changed from uh, listening to 0.0.0.0 to 127.0.0.1, which is local host, which uh, makes the um, drop beer client only to work via USB. So, how you, you enable the Wi Fi SSH? Well, pretty simple. You need to take the IPA down and tear it apart. I'm going to rename it. You need to make it a zip. And everything relies on modifying a single plist file. And I'm going to show you. It's pretty simple, but it's pretty straightforward. So um, you need to show content of the file. You can also do this on Windows with no problem. And uh, you will have here a couple of files. Dropbeer.plist is one of them. Again, I do not recommend you to do this if you're planning to leave the device this way. It's not safe to have uh, SSH permanently, especially if you leave the uh, default credentials, root and alpine, as a password. So um, if you do this, do your work, do whatever you want to do over SSH, and then uh, reinstall the normal Yalu jailbreak, which has the uh, the drop beer blocked on USB only, or at least change the credentials, right? So uh, you can see in here it has the PLS. You can open it in Xcode or any other text editor, and you go to Program Arguments, and it has a couple of um, items. This is an array with a couple of items, and here you have one to seven point zero point zero point one, um, and 22 the port. You only need to remove everything and write 22. Leave only the port and any connection will be allowed. Now for the moment I'm going to show you that I cannot SSH into the device normally. So uh, how you SSH in the first place? You need to go to settings on your device after you jailbreak to Wi-Fi and click on the Wi-Fi network you're connected to and it will reveal some information. And uh, the uh, most important is the IP address. So the, the command on a Mac is SSH. It's the same on a, um, on a Linux operating system. Root at, and you need your IP address in here. 192 in my case, 16813. And as you can see, it says that connection was refused because it's not allowed using the drop beer. Now let me show you how we fix it. So we... We modify the plist and we need to pack everything back again. You can remove the official one, but I don't recommend to do that. You can simply put it apart because you will need to jailbreak again with the untouched one to remove the effect of the um, of the drop beer changing. And you need to compress the payload folder into a zip. Then from this you need to create the IPA. Pretty simple. Yalu dark plus Wi-Fi dot IPA. It's a good thing to name your files you know, in a manner that you will understand what they mean. Now you need to go to the device and remove the Yalu you already have because it will create a, um, a collision between the uh, app teams. So I'm going to remove my Yalu and I can simply open uh, CDI Impactor and sideload the modified IPA. Again, this is not very safe if you're going to let this uh, this way. So you must correct it back after you finish your work with the SSH. Right, so you need to simply log in into your Apple ID and password. If it asks you about the Impactor, click Allow. It will assign the IPA and directly sideload to the device. And you will be good to go. And you just need to uh, restart the phone, jailbreak with the modified thing, and you will be good to go now.
Okay, so um, I finally managed to reboot the device and I jailbroke again with the modified IPA we created and now I should be able to create a connection to the device with no problem via um, Wi-Fi. So I'm going to disconnect it from the computer like this and simply let it connect it on the Wi-Fi. And I'm going to go to terminal and write again the same thing, ssh root at and the IP address. And pretty much you can see I'm going to say yes, uh, sorry, yes, and uh, root and password. The password is alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E, alpine. You must change this. As you can see, I got root and uh, pretty much I can do anything I want. For example, let me try uname A and pretty much you can see it's marijuana arm, which is the jailbroken um, version of the kernel. You can see I can now do stuff, whatever I want, see tar or anything. But you can now control the device, which is something good. And um, yeah, pretty much you can do anything you want. But keep in mind, you should change the password. The default password is ALPINE, Alpine, but this is not safe. And look at the desktop does not recommend you to use this over Wi-Fi. So um, if you really want to use this SSH over Wi-Fi, make sure you change the password or at least jailbreak again with the official one. So yeah. This is pretty much it guys, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and again keep in mind you should only do it if you really need SSH over Wi-Fi and yeah till the next time be sure to check out my other videos about downgrading on Prometheus or jailbreaking and peace out.